What if I told you there's a river in Africa so immensely powerful it could light up half the continent? The Congo River is the deepest on Earth, plunging to over 200 meters in places. This titan of nature unleashes a mind-blowing 1.5 million cubic feet of water into the ocean every single second. Harnessing the Congo won't be easy, but one proposed megaproject aims to try. The audacious $80 billion Grand Inga Dam could generate enough electricity for millions of energy-starved Africans. But at what cost? Massive dams reshape landscapes and displace communities. Could this environmental and social sacrifice be worth the power produced? Many have visited the legendary Inga Falls, site of the proposed dam. What they discovered left them in awe of nature's force, yet wary of mankind's ambitions. This is the story of the Grand Inga Dam Project, a lightning bolt of promise and peril for the heart of Africa. By the end, you'll see wonders and warnings that will challenge everything you thought you knew about powering dreams. The Congo River is the beating heart of Africa, pumping life through the continent. It flows through ancient forests where gorillas still roam. The river sustains isolated villages and growing cities alike. This mighty waterway has shaped both the landscape and the people of Central Africa for countless generations. It determined the rise and fall of kingdoms, the movements of tribes. The Congo River enabled commerce and discovery, carried timber and diamonds, endured despite exploitation and calamity. The origin of the Congo River lies deep in Africa's interior, over 700 kilometers from the Atlantic Ocean. It begins as a small mountain stream in the hills of Zambia's north. Gathering tributaries like veins collecting blood, the Congo builds force as it travels across savannas and woodlands. Great rapids form in the river's lower stretch, including the iconic Inga Falls. Here, the Congo heartbeat quickens, racing towards the Atlantic. But the journey does not end at sea. The river's outflow powers an ocean current that circles Africa's west coast, bringing life-giving nutrients before curving back towards the Congo once more. This forms a circular system of water and weather that sustains Central and West Africa. And so the Congo River pulses with the seasons through history, providing passage, abundance, power. Its scale epic and eternal, yet intimate as the communities sustained along its banks even today. The Inga Falls on the mighty Congo defy easy description. They are less a single waterfall than a 96-meter descent in the river's elevation over 15 kilometers of churning rapids and channels. With a deafening roar, billions of gallons of water thunder through this bottleneck each second. These intense rapids constitute the planet's largest waterfall by volume. The Inga Falls' power paralyzed early European explorers with awe. They seemed impossible to comprehend, let alone tame. Local fishermen knew the rapids could quickly grow deadly. Only the most expert boatmen could attempt crossing Inga. In the 1950s, Belgium dreamed of finally conquering the falls by building a hydroelectric dam as part of its colonial occupation. But the turbulent rapids kept their freedom a while longer. Later, Mobutu Sese Seko commissioned the Inga 1 and Inga 2 dams, generating 1.8 gigawatts. But this captured just a fraction of the fall's total power. Poor maintenance has reduced even that output over time. Engineers have learned that the Congo cannot be contained so easily. Inga Falls really represents a cascade of individual rapids with names like Hell's Cauldron and Devil's Swimming Pool. Their scale overwhelms the senses. Even massive volumes of concrete and steel cannot completely overwhelm Inga's roar. Like a living beast, the falls adapt to each human effort to control them, their immensity slipping from every grasp. The Inga Falls remain untamed, representing a primal source of power beyond reach. Perhaps some secrets are not meant for mortal hands to seize. Today, the Democratic Republic of Congo dreams of finally unlocking the Inga Fall's full potential. The proposed Grand Inga Project represents a staggeringly ambitious vision, an $80 billion mega project to generate 40 gigawatts of power.
That's enough electricity to transform life across Congo and its neighbors. The output would exceed twice that of China's massive Three Gorges Dam, the world's current largest. Such an achievement could turn the tide for a country where only 10% of citizens have electricity access today. With abundant energy to power homes and business, Congo's standard of living could rise across measures of health, education, and economic development. But the road to realizing this vision will not be smooth. Past efforts to dam the Congo at Inga have faltered. Political instability, government corruption, and lack of funding stalled projects like the proposed Inga 3 Dam. With the backing of international investors and donors, the sheer audacity of Grand Inga could help the country overcome its troubled history. Or the challenges of equitably distributing benefits could prove insuperable. Nonetheless, in the roar of the Inga Falls lies immense hope. The Congo River, for all its surrounding troubles, retains the power to elevate a nation. Its hydropower potential could energize prospering cities, revitalized industries, and rural schools where children read by electric lights never known by their parents. The mighty river's downstream flow could reverse Congo's fortunes, turning the tide toward a brighter future. With good governance and just policies, equitable development powered by the Inga Falls may light the way. Access to electricity remains dismally low across much of Africa. In Congo, four out of five people live without power. In rural areas, the percentage plunges even lower. Overall, nearly half of Africans have no access to electricity. Against this backdrop, the appeal of a lightning bolt shot through the heart of Africa is obvious. The Grand Inga Dam could shine light into many places that remain tragically dark today. With 40 gigawatts of generating capacity, this hydro project could meet Congo's electricity needs many times over. The excess would get exported to neighboring countries via transmission lines spanning the continent. South Africa has already signed an agreement to purchase 2,500 megawatts from Inga 3, the precursor dam project. In time, the mammoth Grand Inga could energize developing economies across Africa with its bountiful supply. This electricity could spark industrialization, manufacturing, and modernization. Grand Inga power could run factories, mines, appliances, and city streetlights in dozens of countries. But some have questioned whether rural villages would benefit, or if the power would mainly go to urban centers and industry. Critics point out that even with two dams already, most Congolese still have no electricity. They ask whether mega dams make sense when smaller solar and wind projects could provide distributed power more locally. While Grand Inga's electricity supply is green, it comes at an environmental cost. The dam's vast reservoir would submerge 67 square kilometers of land along the Congo River. Forest would disappear underwater, wildlife would lose habitat, and the human toll would also be immense. An estimated 35,000 villagers would need relocation away from their flooded farms and homes in the dam's shadow. This community displacement mirrors a larger trend with mega dams worldwide. The Three Gorges Dam forced over a million Chinese villagers to evacuate as their lands were swallowed by the rising reservoir. Critics call this environmental injustice. Beyond the direct flooding, the dam's impacts on the Congo River ecology could be severe. The river's flow would be drastically altered by the diversion of water into the artificial reservoir. Sediment and nutrients normally carried downstream would be trapped behind the dam instead. The environmental group International Rivers warns that the Congo's plume, a nutrient-rich area where the river meets ocean, would be compromised. This could disrupt coastal fisheries and a region of high marine biodiversity. For those whose lives and livelihoods depend directly on the river's natural rhythms, the changes could prove devastating, and endangered species like bonobos could also suffer under the ecological shift. With such wide-ranging impacts, can the Grand Inga Dam deliver electricity to millions without compromising communities and Congo's natural heritage? Its results may depend on how equitably costs and benefits are balanced. The Congo River has witnessed both great beauty and immense suffering over the centuries. Once the heart of Africa's slave trade plundered for rubber and ivory, the Congo retains scars of exploitation. Yet the river endures, eternal, 
indifferent to man's ambitions. It continues its ancient course from rainforest to sea. But now human dreams insist again. Dreams of illumination. Vast dams and power lines imagine conquering the deep jungle, as though technology alone holds the solutions. But will the Grand Inga's bright promise only repeat history's abuses? Or can true progress include all Congolese, along with their homeland's natural gifts? This remains the challenge. Congo's poor have already suffered enough without electricity. But simply flooding their forests and fields again cannot be progress. There must be a better way. With ethics and vision, sustainable energy for all can still be achieved. If implemented with care, the Grand Inga Dam could help transform life from Kinshasa to Kisangani. Or its weight could prove crushing. As the roar of Inga Falls reminds, the quest to light the heart of Africa cannot ignore the human hearts living there as well. Their hopes and homeland light the way. Progress must flow from people, not just megawatts. The mighty Congo need not be conquered again. Instead, it can be cooperated with. Working alongside the river's rhythms and resources, sharing its power equitably, Africa's greatest waterway can finally illuminate the continent it has nourished for millennia. The Grand Inga Dam represents both promise and peril. With wisdom and justice, its roaring turbines could leap beyond history's darkness, powering Africa's dreams sustainably at last.